Okay, so kejap dah start nampak ke? Can you see the screen already? Yes. Form 4 reading exam paper and then if I click on edit here, I need to check whether this is really your class uh, exam results. Okay, this would be for account reading paper 1. You confirm kan betul eh, this one eh? Okay, so what I will do right now is I will make a copy just because I want you to have access to the paper as well. So I will make a copy right now. So this will be a copy of for account reading paper one. I'll just click OK here. And what I would like you to do is you are going to get this one, the one that you can see the responses below here so that you can get the question as well. So that when we discuss, you have the question with you as well. Tak ada lawak blur, tak tahu nak buat apa, right? Okay, so I'm just going to give you uh, this edit, the one that you can see the question. Okay, I'll copy this and I'll put it in the chat right now. Can you please have access to it? Um, so hopefully if you're using a laptop, you can boleh open two tabs, boleh buka dua tab. If not, um, I think even if you're using a phone, you can still open the question. Oh, pun boleh buka juga soalan. Okay, a few minutes for you to have access to your reading exam questions. Dah tekan? It should be this one. Yang ni eh. Okay, tell me when you have already had access to the question. Bila awak dah dapat tengok soalan, when you have already looked at the question starting from question number one until uh, the last question should be question number 40, 40. Awak ada 40 soalan. If you already have access to the questions, let me know. Siapa yang dah dapat buka? Form 4 reading paper 1. For account punya. Do you have access to it? Done. Done. Okay, I'll refund dah buka. How about uh, the rest? Do you have access to the questions right now? The reason is because I would like you to look Okay, done. Laila Shuhada dah buka. Okay, so people who are just recently joining, what you should do is go to the chat and then there is where you can find your reading exam question. Boleh cari reading exam question dekat situ. And we are going to discuss the answers right now. Kita nak bincang jawapan sekarang. Okay, probably I'm thinking I hope that we can get like 20 minutes for reading and then maybe after that kita boleh tengok jawapan writing that you gave as well. Okay, so if I go here, right now I've got your responses. This one is the copy. Okay, I have to look at the real for account reading paper one and then I will have your responses. If I click on Google Sheet here, I will know um, what each of you answered. Okay. So as you can see here, this would be your score. So what we want to discuss for today is ada tak sesiapa yang dia rasa dia jawab betul but the Google form said the answer is wrong because of wrong capital letter, um, wrong uh, small letter, it's supposed to be small letter but you put capital letter. So we want to discuss whether kita boleh accept issue macam itu. If not, saya akan ambil je score yang dekat Google Form ni. So today kita nak bincang benda tu lah. We want to discuss. But as you can see here, there are people getting quite high for the score for reading. So the highest that I got for this uh, Google Form score would be is half 35 out of 40. And then, um, who else eh? So I think it's is Hafi 35 out of 40. That is the highest score that we got. So kalau is Hafi managed to get 35, um, we want to know why other people did not manage to get 35 lah. Apa beza jawapan is Hafi dengan jawapan orang lain? That's what we want to discuss for today. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go straight kepada soalan right now. You now have access to the question kan? Awak dah ada um, access kepada soalan kan? 
Okay, I think yang uh, controversial, kita discuss soalan yang controversial dahulu eh. The ones which are um, probably difficult, yang ada student complain to me, saya akan discuss first. I believe, um, I believe question number one dah ada student yang complain to me. So maybe we can have a look at question number one first. After that baru kita pergi dekat soalan yang subjektif. Yang you kena key in the, the answer eh. Okay, so we'll go to question number one first. Can I get a, a reader please? Probably, um, Alifan, can can we start with you first? Can you just like quickly read the question and then kita nak dapatkan jawapan? Yes. Okay. Start from, of... huh? start from Sandwich Delight here. You can see my screen, right? Yes. Sandwich Delight. Lunch promotion, 9 to 3 p.m. Type of sandwich, chicken, tuna, eggs and turkey. Regular price, 15 for half a dozen sandwich. Special offer, 12 for half a thousand sandwich. Add one for only two per plate. Onion ring, nuggets, french fries. Wish of the following can be bought as a side dish. All right. So, um, Al Irfan, in terms of pronunciation, so I just not remind you. Um, uh, T U R K E Y, Turkey. I am Blender, eh? Turkey. And then when you uh pronounce regular, regular, I was about regular. And then when you want to mention price, harga sesuatu, you sebut dia punya ringgit ni. Okay. Um, fifteen ringgit, twelve ringgit. Two ringgit, ataupun you can you can mention RM fifteen. Okay, anyone knows what dozen means? Apa maksud dozen? A dozen. Berapa jumlah dia bila dia a dozen? Does anyone know? Dua belas. Okay, so a dozen means ada dua belas. So a dozen sandwiches. Sandwiches. Awak kena sebut dia punya es je. Sandwiches. Okay, es sebut. And then one more thing that I noticed, um, I think it was on Friday last time, saya buat bengkel dengan budak daripada Sarawak. Dia pun sama macam awak juga. Dia sebut onion. But I believe that um, the, the pronunciation yang biasa orang cakap adalah onions. Okay. Dia bukan onion tapi onion. Awak tak sebut ikut dia punya ejaan eh. Okay. Onion rings. Okay. That's uh, for you to just like take note of in future. Alright, so dia tanya kat sini, which of the following can be bought as a side dish? Yang mana yang kita boleh beli sebagai side dish? What was the answer? Al Irfan bagi jawapan terus boleh? Side onion dish. ring. Eh, okay. onion. 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 Okay, onion rings. Uh, why have you answered onion rings? Kenapa awak jawab onion rings sebagai side dish? Uh, sebab, sebab perkataan apa? At one. Add on. Okay. Add so when on. you Okay, good. So add on eh. When you go to uh, any restaurant, for example, kalau you nak minta add on, meaning itu adalah side dish. Dia adalah makanan yang tambahan. Dia bukan main dish. Main dish adalah makanan yang utama eh. So I believe most of you should answer onion ring. So we are going to go to our reading paper response. Kalau kita tengok response kat sini, most of you memang answered onion ring. So by right, semua orang betul. Oh, kecuali seorang. Atipa? Kenapa chicken sandwich Atipah? Okay, so only one person lah uh, uh, who did not get the correct answer. So Atipah, you, can you tell me like what the problem was? Awak keliru yang mana actually? Awak keliru perkataan side dish ke? Uh, uh, can I get a response from Atipah? Tak ada eh? I, I saw Atipah tadi. Ah uh, yeah, what's the problem? Awak rasa apa masalahnya awak seorang je yang 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 uh, jawab uh, chicken sandwich. So awak uh, rasa uh, which part yang you confuse? Uh, Perkataan add on ni ke? Add on dengan side dish. Add on dengan side dish. So awak oh awak tak tahu bahawa add on dengan side dish adalah sama. Jadi awak anggap side dish tu adalah chicken sandwich tu. Uh -uh. Right. <laughs> So, okay, so the main the main dish untuk restoran ni dekat sandwich delight ni of course adalah sandwich Itu adalah main yang utama dia. So yang add on ni adalah onion rings ni. Kita tambahan. Okay, so never mind uh, dengan pengalaman awak dah jawab exam after this you akan lebih alert lah. Okay, alright so itu untuk question number one untuk reading. 
paper but as we can see tadi most of you I can say like 99% semua orang betul uh, so no problem with question number one. Okay uh, I think next I would like to go to question which you have to put your own answer. Okay itu yang yang most students from form 5 pun dia rasa macam oh kenapa kenapa jawapan dia tak boleh terima. Okay so that's what we want to discuss first and eh? nanti we go back to the other questions. Okay, so I think let's just go straight kepada soalan yang awak perlu put your own answer eh. So it starts from question number, okay it starts from part four I think. No, no, part five. Okay, part five is where you have to answer using your own answer. Question number 37. Okay, but not much tau. Awak punya ni tak banyak yang kena bagi. exam question. Bukan exam short answer text. So we are going to discuss this one right now eh. Question. Okay so we go to questions 37 to 40 using information from the text. Choose no more than two words. Okay awak kena baca arahan dulu tau. When you get the question baca arahan dulu. Dia kata choose no more than two words from the text for each answer. So awak kena pastikan awak tak pilih lebih daripada dua perkataan. Setakat ini jelas eh arahan dia. Ada tak sesiapa yang tiba-tiba awak terfikir eh aku dah terletak dua more than two words lebih daripada dua perkataan. Then confirm salah lah jawapan awak. Okay so we are going to have a look right now. Okay choose no more than two words from the text for each answer eh. Okay saya akan pergi straight kepada soalan dulu. Sebab we don't want to, because you dah baca dah pun this text before. Okay so we are going to have a look at the short answer text untuk number 37 first eh. Where do you take your answer? Awak akan ambil answer awak daripada text dekat atas ni tau. Social media sites. Okay so this is where you are going to take your answer and you akan masukkan dekat number 37 ni. Okay jelas tak cara nak menjawab tu? You clear eh, of how to answer it? Maybe we can actually like just start from um start from number 33 ni baru kita go to number 37 so that you lebih jelas eh. For your information untuk budak form 5 starting from number 33 dia dah kena key in tau. Dia kena type dia punya jawapan. Dia bukan A, B, C, D macam awak tau. Okay so dia uh, orang boleh hilang lebih banyak markah because dia orang salah letak capital letter and so on. You cuma start from 37 saja. That's that's the lucky part for you lah. Okay, so dikata kat sini which of the following are the preferred social media sites? Dia kata write A to F. Okay, apa yang sini awak buat dia tak tulis A to F tau sebab dia tak baca arahan. Okay, so what they did adalah dia pergi ambil uh, title. Contoh ni Jawapan dia dia letak E Instagram atau F. Okay. For number 33. Okay. Uh, I keep up with the latest happenings by reading what others share here. I keep up with the latest happenings by reading what others share here. Jadi apa jawapan dia? What is the answer? Adakah A, B, C, D, E atau F? Uh, soalan nombor 33 ni awak faham tak macam cara nak jawab dia? Is it clear? Sebab kalau kita pergi dekat preview, kita tengok eh. Kalau kita pergi dekat preview macam mana rupa dia. Okay I'll go to the preview right now. Okay and then like, I'll just start off by entering the email macam biasa as though I am the one answering. Class you put your class and then saya pergi next. So basically you just jawab by clicking saja, and then probably I want to go uh, to the question number 33 but it's going to take time. So itulah basically how you answer. So kita akan pergi straight kepada question number 33 tadi ni. So I hope you jelas macam cara nak jawab dia eh. 
how to answer to hopefully it is clear. Okay, back, going back to number 33 tadi. The question for number 33 adalah, okay, let's just go back there. Is it internet yang problem ni? Okay, jap. Okay, question number 33, dia tanya kat awak, I keep up ni. Masa awak jawab, awak nampak tak? Can you see the the statement? The statement is, I keep up with the latest happenings by reading what others share here. Okay, so what is the answer? Apakah jawapan dia? Can you try and give me the answer please? Kat mana yang awak boleh keep up with the latest happenings? Social media site yang mana? Uh, did anyone have problems masa jawab question number 33? Can I get a response? Number 33. Tak ada eh? Okay. What is the answer for number 33? Awak dah, dah dapat klik tak dekat dekat your question paper? Is it you pilih yang mana? Which one did you choose? Boleh buka sendiri ya? Eh? Okay, uh, from here kalau kita tengok dekat kita punya Google Sheet number 33, most of you answered apa? So I'm just going to go there straight right now. For number 31, 32, okay. So kita ada a mixture of answer ni. Some of you answered A, B, ada juga yang answer C, ada juga yang answer E. So that that is what we want to discuss for today. Kita tengok number 33 dahulu. I, um, I'm not so sure how cikgu ni dah, dah design dia punya question. Nanti I'll get back to number 33 lah eh. Okay, so let's have a look at number 37 dahulu. Apa possible answer dia. Okay, so number 37, kita akan ambil jawapan daripada teks eh. Number 37, uh, okay, dia kata kat sini, Hi Rosie, have you heard of the latest social media craze, TikTok? Oh yes, I just signed up for an account as I think watching short music videos will be, so number 37 awak masukkan apa? Will be apa? So awak akan pergi straight kepada teks yang berkenaan dengan TikTok. Will be apa? I am into music so I spend a lot of time on TikTok. Through TikTok, I can create, share and discover short music videos. I find it entertaining to watch people singing and dancing to different tunes as some would be impressively creative while others would be just hilarious. Lip syncing or going out of tune. I, if I love a video, I can even comment or download to share it with others. Jadi awak letak perkataan apa untuk number 37? Entertaining. Okay, so awak letak entertaining eh. Okay, um, as we can see here, jawapan yang dalam skema, awak boleh check sendiri, saya besarkan right now. Jawapan dalam skema jawapan dekat Google Form pun sama, which is entertaining. So, kita akan pergi dekat jawapan awak right now. Uh, that is supposed to be number 37 kan. Okay, number 37 entertaining. So number 37 dia punya arahan dia adalah sebab tak semua orang jawab entertaining tau. So itu yang kita nak bincang right now. What is the accepted answer? Okay um, arahan dia, awak baca arahan dahulu betul-betul. Okay I'll go back to the Google form just now. Arahan pada Google form dia kata you have to uh, select from the text Oh, tengok arahan dia. Use, using information from the text. Ambil uh, uh, info daripada teks. Dan awak perlu pilih. Perkataan tu perlu dipilih daripada teks lah by right. Dia kata choose no more than two words from the text. Dia kata from the text tau. Jadi bila some of you answer perkataan seperti fun. Ada juga yang jawab perkataan okay. Fun, okay, interested. Interested dah confirm salah sebab sepatutnya interesting bukan interested. Cuma saya nak tanya ada tak perkataan interesting pada teks? Itu yang yang kita perlu bincangkan lah right now. Did you find the word interested in the text? Ada ke? Dia mesti teks dekat TikTok ni lah. Only words yang daripada TikTok sahaja yang kita boleh consider lah. 
Ada perkataan fun ke dekat TikTok? Do you see any word fun? No. No. So bila no, kita tak boleh nak terima jawapan fun awak tu. So sebab dia kata take the, the word from the text. Jadi perkataan seperti fun, okay, saya akan just like uh, highlight dulu lah. Fun cannot be accepted. I believe that perkataan okay pun tak ada rasanya. Adakah perkataan okay? Do you see the word okay dekat uh, text untuk kita? No. No as well. So I think I think ini adalah masalah uh, technical. Oh, no, no, not masalah technical. Masalah strategi. You don't know how to answer. Awak tak tahu macam mana cara nak jawab. Dia kata ambil perkataan daripada teks. Okay. So interested pun kita tak nampak tadi. We don't see the word interested. So the correct answer adalah entertaining. So hanya entertaining lah yang kita akan terima. Okay. Uh, and then perkataan more better. Ada somebody jawab more better. Do you say more better? Bila kita nak cakap lebih baik, kita cakap more better ke? Sebab perkataan better dah masuk, maksudnya lebih baik. So awak tak payah letak more kat depan. So more better dah memang confirm salah lah. Interesting, again saya akan tanya awak, interesting tadi ada kat dalam teks tak? No. Tak ada juga. No. So walaupun jawapan awak tu macam somehow can be accepted, kan TikTok is interesting tapi because the the word is not in the text so kita tak terima we don't accept. Jadi setakat ni kita memang ambil jawapan yang Google Form uh, provide us. So entertaining okay lagi satu that I want to remind you bila awak jawab entertaining, entertaining awak boleh tak E, e besar? Can we have a capital letter for entertaining? Can we have a capital letter sebab awak tengok balik The question, perkataan entertaining tu adalah dekat dekat dalam ayat tau. Boleh tak awak letak E besar dekat entertaining nombor 37 ni? Who can answer me? No. E cannot. tak boleh. Cannot. You tak boleh letak E capital letter pun dekat situ. Jadi siapa yang jawab E capital letter ni? Of course saya boleh check kejap lagi siapa yang jawab. E, e capital letter. Is it you? Yes. Let me check. And it takes a bit of time. No, it's Anu Raisha here. That is Anu Raisha's answer. So, okay, kalau kita nak check Alifan, awak punya yang mana? Where? Let me just check. Okay, that, that would be yours. Okay, and then we go to question number 37. So, tadi E capital letter ada daripada Anu Raisha. Awak jangan anggap macam saya um, nak nak make you feel embarrassed ke apa. No, kita just bincang. This is just for uh, knowledge. Ni untuk, uh, okay, sama. Eh, ramailah yang like that. Sayang kan? E capital letter. Awak letak E capital letter. Saya, tengok, saya tunjuk berapa orang eh. Okay, one. Dah seorang kat situ. Just now I believe it was Anu Raisha. Okay, and then another person. Another person termasuklah Arifan. Another person. E capital letter. So what's, what is it that you can learn from here? Apa yang awak dah belajar kat sini? Tekniknya macam mana? When the word is in a sentence, can you have a capital letter as your answer? No. Tak boleh. Okay. The same thing dalam dalam SPM nanti I think if you answered using a capital letter senang je lah SPM examiner tu just will take out your marks. Dia akan reduce je lah. For now Google Form dah did the job for us. I I don't think Google Form accepted your your answer as uh, correct. Sebab dia memang sebab our our scheme skema kita pada Google Form adalah entertaining small letter. Nampak eh? Correct answer entertaining small letter. So only yang entertaining small letter saja yang dapat markah. Okay. So that is why it's it was a bit difficult for us to score untuk reading paper kita. Tapi tak takpelah we trust the process right now eh. Okay so now we go to question number 38. Tak ada orang lain yang nak request whether you can see what your answer is eh. But as you can see here um we got like a few lah beberapa orang sahajalah yang dapat betul. Okay, contoh this one here last person one, two, entertaining huruf kecil, entertaining huruf kecil. So only those people yang alert saja yang akan uh, manage to get the answer correct eh. And so for now we believe that uh, the answer given by Google Form, the score that you get for your Google Form uh, is valid, adalah valid. Okay. Eh, yang lain kita tak terima lah impressively creative ke, uh, wait, impressively creative. Ada tak impressively creative pada uh, teks? 
So actually awak boleh Okay, dia ada cakap impressively creative. Yes, kat sini. And then, dia masuk tak? I just sign up for an account. I think watching short music videos will be impressively creative. Um, salah. Sebab kalau awak watching short music video, tindakan awak melihat tu, itu bukan uh, kreatif. Apa yang orang tu produce yang kreatif, awak sekadar melihat, awak akan rasa benda tu entertaining. So, impressively creative kita tak masuk eh. That is not part of the answer. Okay, number 38. So we are, I, I proceed with number 38 right now eh. Okay, number 38, dia kata macam gini. I would think so as you can always be in the know of the latest news and music through tweets of your, tweets of your. Sekarang dia dah start cakap pasal Twitter if I'm not mistaken. Twitter eh. Okay, kita tengok daripada awal tadi dia cakap pasal TikTok kan. Okay, let's just go back to the text. I just signed up for an account. I think watching short music videos will be entertaining. That's true. You can even create videos and share them online. Since you are into music, I assume that you use Twitter too. Actually, I don't. Is it recommended? I would think so as you can always be in the know of the latest news and music through tweets of your... So, apa jawapannya ni? Your siapa? So we go to our Twitter punya text. You pun boleh buka sendiri sebab saya dah bagi copy of this Google form. Your apa tu? Apa jawapan dia? Here, kita baca dekat Twitter eh. Uh, can we just try and get a reader first? At least bila kita baca one by one, kita dapat perkataan baru and we can also discuss that. Um, maybe can I get from Nur Atipa tadi? Can you try and just read the Twitter punya text ni? And then kita nak jawapan, if we can get it. Saya teacher. Yes. Twitter is? Twitter is my go-to application as I can easily follow the update updates of famous celebra celebrities and brands. Often, often times, user will post regarding their feelings or opinions on various issues. <clears throat> from current activities to product reviews. That's why I find I find it the best way to keep up with news of my favorite artists. Twitter posts are also short and direct due to limit to limited characters, which I find helpful as I don't have to read any posts for long for too long. Okay, uh, Atipas, uh, since you you yang dah baca right now, do you do you suppose like you can get me the answer for this one here? Uh, number 38 tadi, tweets of your apa eh rasa-rasa? Tweets of your apa? You can always be in the know of the latest news and music through tweets of your. What would you put here? Kita nak letak apa yang kat situ? Dapat tak? Did you get any answer from here? Tweets of your, your apa? Jumpa tak Atipa? Did you find the answer? Tak jumpa eh? Ah uh, tak. Yang tu saya salah rasanya. Awak rasa awak salah but what did you put? Apa yang awak letak? Did you put limited characters ke? Atau do you put my famous celebrities ke? Which one? Tak sure eh? You're not sure? Uh, tak sure. Tak sure saya boleh buka sekarang. I can open right now. But you, of course, you, memang you tak ingat eh? Okay. Uh, tak. Alright. So never mind. Uh, so kejap lagi maybe we can get have a look at what the, uh, what has been answered by most people. Okay. Uh, but before that, uh, saya just nak, nak uh, you listen to the the pronunciation of certain words dulu Macam yang Atipa baca tadi, I think saya dengar W-O-U-L-D Dia sebut perkataan, uh, dia, dia sebut letter L tu tapi tak perlu tau Okay so awak dengar betul-betul, okay, Twitter is my go-to application Go-to ni maksudnya macam yang application yang awak akan selalu pergi, selalu gunakan Kalau biasa orang pakai my go-to meal contohnya My go-to meal would be um, Eggs and sandwiches. Awak selalu makan. Awak selalu buat uh, eggs and sandwiches tu. So awak akan guna perkataan go to. Benda yang awak selalu buat ulang-ulang. Uh, awak selalu uh, consume lah. 
Okay, Twitter is my go-to application as I can easily follow the updates of famous celebrities and brands. Oftentimes, users would, so tak perlu cakap would, L tu tak, tak perlu eh. Okay, users would post regarding their feelings or opinions on various issues, from current activities to product reviews. That's why I find it the best way to keep up with news of my favourite artists. Macam dah ada jawapan kat situ eh. Twitter posts are also short and direct due to limited characters which I find helpful as I don't have to read any posts for too long. Okay, so ada tak sesiapa in this Google Meet session yang dah terjumpa jawapan dia? What is the answer you know tak? Artist. Artist sahaja ke? Favourite artist. Oh, favourite artist eh. Okay, so kita check jawapan right now. Number 38. What is the answer for number 38? Okay. Yang kita terima adalah favorite artist. Ada S kita terima. Favorite artist tanpa S pun kita terima. Okay. So we're going to check right now the answer that you have put. Um, I think I'm interested to know what Atiko has answered just now since she said she doesn't remember. So that would be question number 38 and eh? jawapan untuk number 38. Okay. Account. Account datang dari mana eh Atipa? Number 38. Account eh awak masukkan. My favourite. Kenapa awak letak perkataan account? Tweets of your account. I can know the latest news and music through tweets of your account. Oh, okay. Saya rasa saya faham apa awak nak cakap. Mungkin awak nak kata uh, apa benda yang orang tweet pada account awak kot. Okay. Tapi sebenarnya kat sini dia nak cakap latest music dan juga latest news daripada kita punya favourite artis yang tweet benda tu. Bukan kita yang tweet benda tu. Okay. Jelas tak benda tu? Okay. So account tak terima. Feed tak terima. Opininos tak terima. Ni salah eja ni. Siapa ni? Opininos tak ada. Opinions eh. Bukan opininos. Okay so kita should accept favourite artist. Tapi awak nampak tak apa masalahnya kat sini. F kenapa F besar ni? F besar awak letak. Sepatutnya F besar ke F kecil guys? Small. Hmm nampak tak? Sayanglah markah awak. See? Um, favourite artist kan dia dekat dalam ayat tu. Dia dekat dalam ayat. See? Dia berada dekat dalam ayat. Number 38, your favourite artist. Kenapa tiba-tiba F kena F besar? Betul tak? Dia mestilah F kecil. So I think kan daripada your experience buat uh, examination ni, there's a lot that you can learn. A lot of technique sebenarnya. Bila huruf uh, huruf besar berada dalam ayat, confirm automatic salah. So nampak tak berapa ramai yang salah ni? Sayanglah sebab you dah betul lah actually. Favorite artist F besar kita tak terima. Um, I have I have no choice lah actually. Saya tak boleh nak tiba-tiba accept your answer because I think it's only fair kalau kita ikut seperti dalam exam sebenar lah. Okay. So favorite artist salah here. Famous celebrities F pun besar salah. Favorite artist salah. So let's see whether we can find someone yang betul. Favorite artist. Okay, ada yang betul. There are people who got it. Okay. Ni kenapa artis ejaan macam ni sayangnya? Siapa ni? Favorite artist. Okay, ejaan untuk artis. A-R-T-I-S-T. -T. Ada T eh? Favorite artist yang betul adalah ni ni. Favorite artist. Sama ada awak letak S atau tidak kita terima eh. Sebab kalau kita letak S maksudnya apa? What does it mean? If we put favorite artist ada S dekat artis maksudnya apa? Artis tu ramai ke seorang? Ramai. Ramai. Kalau kita tak letak S, maksudnya artis tu seorang. So we accept both. Kita terima dua-dua eh. Okay so uh, so far, okay. So far ada dua orang setakat ni yang yang uh, correct. So favourite artis yang dia letak ada S. Kalau ada S maksudnya ramai. Okay we'll see somebody else. Ada tak somebody else? Ah ada dua orang sahaja yang betul. So dua orang tersebut adalah, let me just check. It should be uh, the people yang dapat high mark tadi lah kot. Okay, Alia, Alia Amani, she got it right untuk question number 38. Saya rasa ramai yang boleh betul actually. It's just that teknik awak salah. Okay, and then the other person will be favourite artist juga. Other person should be, let me just check. 
Zahafi lah sebab Zahafi dapat 35 tadi kan. Okay so going moving on um, if if you could just tell me right now apa strategi yang awak dah dapat setakat ni untuk jawab reading paper? What do you remember uh, that you have to do? Apa yang awak kena ingat masa awak jawab reading paper? Number one, kalau it is in a sentence, the word has to be capital or small? Small, small letter. Small letter. Itu itu pengajaran yang paling utama lah yang kita dapat from here. Eh. Okay, let's have a look at number 39. Okay, number 39, the sentence adalah That's great. I usually just keep up with current events by reading news shared by my friends on Facebook. But I am careful too as there is a lot of shared. A lot of. Okay, awak punya clue adalah a lot of tau. A lot of ni maksudnya benda tu adalah benda yang banyak tapi sepatutnya dia tidak boleh dikira. Sebab kalau boleh dikira dia akan letak there are many. Okay. There are many books on the table. Awak boleh kira books ada berapa. Tapi kalau dikata there is a lot of sugar spilled on the table. Awak tak boleh kira satu-satu sugar tu. So that's why dia pakai a lot of. So awak dah ada clue actually kat sini eh. Alright. Um, by the way, can I just ask you apa maksud Karen? Kita dah pernah bincang kat dalam kita punya discussion untuk letter. Formal letter hari tu. Apa maksud Karen? Currently hari tu kita bincang. Ni Karen ni apa ni? Can anyone tell me? Semasa. Semasa. Current events adalah uh, event yang berlaku terkini lah. Keadaan semasa ataupun terkini. Terkini. Alright. So what should be the answer untuk number 39? So kita akan pergi dekat teks untuk te uh, Facebook eh. My friends on Facebook. I am careful as there is a lot of apa shared. So kita akan pergi teks untuk Facebook right now. Okay. Boleh pilih daripada sini lah. Apa yang awak nak, uh, nak pilih? What is the word that you want to choose? Saya rasa awak dah dapat dia punya rentak dia. What is the answer? Fake news. There is a lot of fake news. Okay. Any other answers? Fake news eh? Okay kita check. That, that is the answer you have given to me. Fake news. There is a lot of fake news. I'm just thinking, patutnya dia pakai there is a lot ke there are a lot of fake news. Okay. Okay. Jawapan dia fake news. Fake news. And as you can see, dia letak F, F kecil. So, I wonder if you did the same thing. So, we are going to have a look at number 39 right now. 39 eh. Okay. Okay, so for number 39, ramai yang betul. As we can see here. Then somehow awak dah dapat dia punya rentak dia. Yang dia letak dekat sini, dia bukan fake information tapi dia gabungkan fake news. Although it's two words, tapi awak kena guna perkataan frasa yang dia gunakan. Dia tak letak fake information tau. Dia letak fake news. So you kalau boleh you take straight from the text. Ambil daripada text. Okay and of course kita ada juga masalah with capital letter ni lah. Sayang lah siapa yang buat F, F besar ni. It should be F kecil eh. Fake news is the answer. Ramailah yang letak F besar ni. F besar, F besar. So the only answer that we accept adalah F kecil and then kenapa ada yang tak letak? Okay, this one should be avoided lah. Awak kena avoid uh, jawapan yang macam ni. Fake news jarak bukannya um, dekat. Uh, awak nampak kan saya punya Google Sheet right now kan? You can see my Google Sheet right? Yes. Okay, so jawapan fake news yang tidak dijarakkan, I believe that Google Form did not accept. Okay. Ada soalan tak setakat ni? Tadi eh? So you kena jarakkan sebab kalau tak it doesn't make sense ni ni perkataan apa ni faker news we don't know what answer that is. Okay so uh, untuk question number 39 lebih ramai yang dapat betul lah for this uh, question. By the way can I just like ask you untuk um, score untuk paper reading saya dah post kan dekat group kan? Did I post your score for reading dekat group? Yes. Okay I've, I already, I've already done that so for now we stick to that score. Untuk sekarang kita stick to that score. Score yang itu kita akan gabungkan dengan score for your writing paper. 
markah untuk writing awak nanti and then gabungan dua tu akan memberi awak your overall mark lah because you tak ada exam listening and you tak ada exam speaking. So kita ambil dua gabungan tu saja untuk bagi awak markah for your mid-year exam. Um, I guess untuk prepare you for SPM, kejap lagi ni uh, I will give you a uh, form 5 punya which one do you want? Awak nak paper, I think yang saya boleh bagi kat awak adalah paper writing, paper reading and paper listening budak form 5 punya mid-year exam. Which one do you want? Saya tak nak bagi semua, saya nak bagi satu je. Which one do you feel like you need? Yang mana yang awak rasa awak perlu? Writing. Listen. Writing. Okay so make sure that when I give you the paper for writing, awak cuba. You have to attempt. Dia jangan bukan saya sahaja nak bagi je. You have to try and attempt it. So since Al Irfan tadi minta writing, ada request yang lain? Does anyone else want to see paper listening ke, speaking, uh, no, paper reading ke? Tolong bagi tahu eh, please let me know. Sebab awak sendiri yang tahu skill apa yang awak nak, nak polish. Okay. Alright, so can we just have a look at the last question aku saya rasa for now. Um, question number 40. Soalan 40 eh. Okay, that will be the last question lah. Soalan yang terakhir. Okay, question number 40. Can we get someone untuk uh, do the reading and if possible when we look at the text dia boleh beritahu saya jawapannya apa. Okay, can I get a response maybe from any volunteer? Ada volunteer tak ke? Oh, Alifan sekat-sekat. Sekarang masih sekat-sekat ke? For now? No. No eh? Okay. Um, can we get Alia Amani tadi? Yes, teacher. Alright, so can I have you do the reading of uh, number 40 and then if I show you the text untuk Instagram ni, can I get the answer as well? Hmm. Okay, start from here. Yes, you have to be certain of what you read in case you want to share any news. Anyway, do follow me on Instagram. I'm trying my hand at... Hmm. Okay. I'm trying my hand at something. So kita kena ambil daripada text about Instagram. Okay. What do you think? You're trying your hand at apa? Uh, I answer it uh, wrong but I think it's fashion. I'm trying my hand at fashion. Fashion? Mana perkataan fashion? Uh, I also love fashion. Mana mana? I also love fashion. Oh ni. Okay. I'm trying my hand at fashion. Okay. Is there anything else yang mungkin juga jawapan dia? Okay, kita check from here eh. Uh, Alia terus baca e Instagram dulu. I'm an avid user. Baca okay. dulu. I, I'm an avid user of Instagram as I love taking photographs and sharing them. Not only that, but I also love fashion. So, I use my account to advertise latest trends and sell clothes. Business have never has never been easier as users can easily check out the items they are interested in and send me message for more details or purchase. Okay, so what do you think? Uh, I'm trying my hand at at what do you think? Uh, Actually, you boleh tengok dia, dia sometimes dia bagi clue tau dekat dekat the the, the, the uh, sentence. You have to be certain of what you read in case you want to share any news. Anyway, do follow me on Instagram. I'm trying my hand at... Atau awak tengok yang selepas ni. There are many pictures of handmade products that I have uploaded for purchase. Dia kata dia buat pic... dia, dia upload pictures tau. So agak-agak dia trying dia punya hand at what kat sini? It's about pictures. Dia banyak upload pictures. I'm trying my hand at apa agak-agak? At food... Mm. Have a guess, have a guess, tak apa. And then after this kita boleh tengok jawapan. I'm trying my hand at? Photographing. Ah, okay. So awak akan ubah photograph ni jadi photography eh. Why eh? Ke ada ING? Uh, photo... Um, photography, photography. Photography. Okay. Photography eh. Okay, so awak akan letak photography. I'm trying my hand at photography. Saya kalau-kalau benda tu uh, karangan, betul je tak ada masalah. But right now we are doing reading kan. Reading paper ni dia dia ada strategi dia sikit that you have to use. Okay so kita tengok jawapan. The answer. 
Ah, dia bagi kat sini fashion. I'm trying my hand at fashion. Kita tengok balik. I'm trying my hand at fashion sebab dia kata I also love fashion. Tapi when we look at the text, kita tengok balik text. This is why we need to discuss lah kot. Um, do follow me on Instagram. I'm trying my hand at fashion. Uh, there are many pictures of handmade products that I have uploaded for purchase. Okay, kita tengok apa yang most of you answered eh. Number 40. Okay, starting from the first person. Okay, I'm starting from the first person. I'm trying my hand. Ada yang jawab business. I'm trying my hand at social media, story, advertising, follow back. Instagram salah je tu. Online, business, fashion. Ada seorang yang jawab fashion here. I'm trying my hand at fashion. Okay, ada dua orang yang jawab fashion. Tiga, empat, lima, enam. Salah je fashion or confirm salah. I'm trying my hand at photography. Ada juga yang jawab uh, photography. Um, and then some people answer, I'm trying my hand at this platform. No. Okay, siapa yang jawab photography ni? Saya nak tengok jap. I'm trying my hand at photography. I'm trying my hand at photography. Laila Shuhada eh. Okay, so Laila Shuhada answered the same as Alia Amani answered just now. I think for this question kot yang saya mungkin boleh boleh consider jawapan awak. Okay, kejap. And then uh, Alia tadi eh. Okay, Alia, what did you answer? I'm trying my hand at what? Saya nak kena tengok dulu what you answered. For me to see whether I can accept or not. I'm trying my hand at advertising. Awak jawab advertising. Where did you take the word advertising from? Awak ambil advertising pada mana? I'm trying, okay advertising saya tak rasa that is uh, relevant kat sini lah sebab tadi Instagram kan. I'm trying my hand at advertising. Sebab dia kata dia take photographs and then dia share. Adakah dia jual? Oh ni advertising. I'm trying my hand at advertising to advertise latest trends and sell clothes. Okay, I think untuk question number 40, boleh tak kita decide yang mana yang kita nak terima so that saya boleh ubah score awak. Saya nak ubah terus sekarang. I want to, I want to um, change the the score right now eh. Nanti saya bagi awak score yang barulah uh, since kita dah bincang yang yang untuk subjektif je. Untuk yang A, B, C, D, E, saya percayalah Google Form memang dah, dah buat the, the task right now. So untuk number 40 saja saya nampak macam some of your answers kita boleh terima eh. Okay, so kita tengok balik uh, the question. The question here dia kata, um, do follow me on Instagram. I'm trying my hand at something. There are many pictures of handmade products that I have uploaded for purchase. Jadi kerana dia ada sebut uploaded for purchase ni, kalau awak jawab advertising, saya rasa awak betul lah. Sebab awak iklankan supaya orang akan beli. Okay, so tu yang kita nak bincang right now. Jawapan mana yang kita boleh terima eh. So, so far yang saya nampak, fotografi saya boleh terima. And then advertising saya boleh terima. I think I can accept advertising. So, kalau awak, right now kita tengok apa awak jawab and then kita tengok whether it fits or not. Okay. Uh, okay, by the way, before that, sebelum saya kita, kita pergi tengok salah satu so, uh, setiap orang punya jawapan. Um, do you know the meaning of avid? Ni untuk awak punya vocabulary. I am an avid user of Instagram. Maksudnya, awak adalah pengguna. Kalau awak avid reader, awak seorang pembaca yang biasa-biasa selalu baca ke ataupun tak selalu baca? Selalu. Selalu. Okay, so avid kat sini maksud dia pengguna tegar tau. Tegar. I am an avid user of Instagram. Saya pengguna tegar Instagram contohnya. Ataupun kalau awak kata I am an avid reader. Saya seorang pembaca yang tegar. Okay, so that that is a, a, probably a new vocabulary yang awak boleh masukkan dalam karangan ke if you want to use it. Okay, so sekarang kita nak tengok jawapan siapa yang kita boleh terima eh. So jawapannya dia kena fit dengan I'm trying my hand at something. Okay, I'm trying my hand at business. I'm trying my hand at business. What do you think? Boleh terima tak business? Business has never been easier as users can easily check out the items. I'm trying my hand at business. Terima. Okay, dan sebab sebab dia adalah B kecil, kita terima eh. So, kejap lagi saya kena ubahlah. Uh, saya akan tambah satu markah dekat uh, this person. 
I'm just going to put one guys tu eh. I'm trying my hand at social media. No. I'm trying my hand at story. No. I'm trying my hand at advertising. One. I'm trying my hand at follow back. No. I'm trying my hand at Instagram. Salah aja. No. I'm trying my hand at Instagram. No. Okay, how about I'm trying my hand at online shopping? What do you think? Online shopping. Ada tak? Text. Dalam text, dia guna frasa online shopping. Ada atau tak ada? You tell me right now. Ada ke tak? Sebab you're supposed to take from the text. Awak perlu ambil dua perkataan awak tu daripada text. So ada tak dia guna online shopping? No. No. So kita tak bolehlah terima walaupun actually kalau kita fikir it makes sense. It does make sense. Okay so zero there. Okay I'm trying my hand at business tapi business dia capital letter. What happens here? Sama je dengan orang pertama tadi dia jawab business. But business dia ni capital letter. Do we accept? No. No. Tak boleh. Okay. Alright. I'm trying my hand at fashion. F. Capital letter. Zero. I'm trying my hand at editing pictures. Dia ada guna frasa editing pictures ke? Editing pictures. Tak ada. Oh tak boleh create your own uh, jawapan tau. You can ambil from the text. I'm trying my hand at editing pictures. No. I'm trying my hand at business. Satu eh. I'm trying my hand at fashion F. Capital letter. Zero. I'm trying my hand at business. Satu. I'm trying my hand at fashion. Kosong. I'm trying my hand at business. Satu. Orang-orang uh, yang saya letak satu ni kejap lagi saya akan inform siapa. Uh, I'm trying my hand at fashion. Fashion kita terima eh. Itu memang uh, the answer given just now. I'm trying my hand at fashion. Fashion F capital letter. Kosong. Fashion salah aja. Zero. I'm trying my hand at photography. Saya kata tadi saya kita akan terima because it is, the word is in there and it does make sense kalau kita tengok dekat ayat tadi. I'm trying my hand at this platform. No, Ratipa, I don't think so eh. This platform, no. Okay, kosong. Okay, so the people yang saya dah letak um, one ni. Okay, um, I need to check back lah. Saya akan just try and scroll balik and then I will try and give to you a new score. So score setakat ni yang kita tambah adalah satu markah untuk question number 40 sahaja. Okay. Ada soalan tak setakat ni? Do you have any question? No. Nampak dari segi validity of this question, valid eh? Dia agak valid sebab kita pun dah bincang. We have already done our discussion. Soalan subjektif cuma ada dekat number 37 until number 40. Okay kat situ je yang ada soalan subjektif. Jadi since kita dah bincang dan kita dah decide Only question number 40 sahaja saya tambah satu markah for answers which are acceptable. So antara orang yang kita akan tambah markah starting from the first person here lah. Number one. First person tadi yang jawab adalah Afifah. Okay. So Afifah jawab her answer for number 40. Business. So kita terima. So kejap lagi I'll give you a new score untuk setiap orang yang saya tambah dia punya skor satu kerana saya rasa jawapan dia betul. Okay so other than that I think tak adalah. Okay so uh, your request tadi adalah untuk get the examination paper for form 5 untuk writing kan? Correct? Reading. Itu request ya? Ah, Nak reading ke nak writing? You want to try um, reading first? Yes. Okay, I think untuk, okay, how about hari ni saya bagi awak soalan uh, form 5, media exam, reading and awak try hari ni juga. Try today and see. Awak dapat tak skor 40? Do you think you can get 40 just by uh, today punya practice sebab awak dah tahu you kena letak uh, small letter kalau benda tu dalam ayat. Okay, and now awak dah tahu dia punya teknik macam cara nak cari. Let's see whether you can get a better score daripada awak punya form 4 exam. Okay, so that's what I will do for you. Saya akan bagi awak soalan uh, media exam form 5. Cuba hari ni juga eh, saya nak respon yang ramai lah. Because you pun boleh tengok macam mana you punya uh, performance kalau you jawab hari ni juga. Okay, so jangan delay-delay eh. When I give you the question for form 5, jawab terus and saya boleh terus check you punya score bila saya tengok dekat Google Sheet macam ni. I can uh, immediately check your score. Sekarang juga. Okay. 
Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, I believe that you might have another class right now. So you can already start leaving my class. Thank you for joining and I'll see your score improve for today. Okay, Assalamualaikum and thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. All right, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Right. Thank you, teacher. Waalaikumsalam. Right. Siapa? Waalaikumsalam. Oh, Waalaikumsalam. Okay.